Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the Air Hogs Fire Wing. And no, this is not a dead bird laying on my table here. This is actually an RC flying vehicle. And this is called an ornithopter, which means it flies by actually flapping its wings. This actually flaps its wings like a real bird to fly through the sky. It is really cool, really neat uh, flight characteristics. Um, at first, it kind of it seems like it may be hard to fly. I don't know. There's just something a little bit intimidating by you know just this kind of this different uh, flight method. But it's actually really easy to control. Uh, really nice, smooth, slow flight. You can adjust the tail angle here to slow it down. So if you have the tail way up like that, it kind of makes it fly in this sort of high alpha mode. So it flies really nice and slow. And then, you know, I would suggest starting with the tail up like that so you can kind of get a feel for how it flies. And then, you know, as you want to fly faster, lower the tail down and it can, you know, fly at a pretty decent speed. Uh, it is only two channels, so you've got throttle, which is spring-loaded, and so the throttle controls your elevation. If you give more throttle, it'll start to climb. Less throttle will start to fold, but if you... Um, it'll start to dive. Why did I say fold? Anyway, um, if you hold the throttle at a, you know at a good position, it it can stay nice and level, and it will hold that height pretty well. I found so you can kind of just hold the throttle and then just control your left and right turns with the uh, right stick here. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on so I can show you how it turns. It's pretty pretty neat. Uh, this is the on-off switch here on the on the back of the tail, and the on-off switch on the transmitter is the Air Hogs logo there. All right, so now yeah, I can actually show you how it flaps its wings too. So pretty cool. And then when you turn left and right, it moves the back of the wing there. Can you see the that there's the little part in the back there that slides back and forth? So that's how it makes the left and right turns work. So that's pretty cool. Um, however, if you need to trim it, you have to do manual trimming. There's no trim button on here. Uh, so they, they give you a bunch of these little metal tabs and it also comes with two spare wings. So that's nice because this is kind of thin plastic that could you know rip or whatever. Uh, but you take one of these metal tabs and you put it on the tip of the wing opposite of where the trim is going. So when I first started flying, this one wanted to fly off to the right, so I put one of the tabs here on the left wing. However, now it flies to the left a little bit. Uh, so I think if my physics serves me right, if I would have put the tab in a little bit more on the wing, it would have had less effect. Uh, so I could probably counter it now that it goes to the left, I could probably counter it by putting another one somewhere on the right here further in. Uh, you know, eventually I would probably be able to get it fly pretty straight, but it, it's not really much of a concern. It, you know, it doesn't fly hard to the side and you can kind of just, you know, give tap little inputs and you can keep it flying straight pretty well. Um, but you know, it, it turns really nice and easy. I was able to fly it in a little area out in front of my house, perfectly fine, uh, very controllable, very, you know, it, it did what I told it to. I didn't feel like I was out of control or anything. Um, Let's go ahead and turn it off just so I don't accidentally fly away or anything. Um, the charging cable here is hidden in the transmitter, so you charge off the transmitter. And it takes only about 15 minutes to charge, pretty quick charge. And from the best I could tell, it was maybe like 5 or 7 minute flights. Uh, I wasn't able to really get a very precise uh, flight timing on it, but I think 5 to 7 minutes would be about what you can expect. Um, one other thing I wanted to show is this kind of new thing that they're doing with these interactive boxes where it's got a button that you can press and the, the, the wings would flap in there on the store shelf so you can actually kind of try it out a little bit. Um, and because it did that, it actually came with batteries in the transmitter. And so there was like electronics that were hooked up to the, you know, the transmitter and then that was plugged into the, into the vehicle itself. Uh, so kind of cool that you can actually see what it does on the store shelves and then now it comes with batteries as well So they're a little bit extra bonus um, In the price there that you get some batteries with it um, Oh, and I did find that at times it gets a little bit hard to tell your orientation Like when it gets further away from you sometimes it's kind of hard to tell which way it's headed because you just kind of see a bunch of red and black It's all 
kind of blends together a little bit from a distance. Uh, but, you know, otherwise, <clears throat> you know, quite enjoyable. I really enjoyed my flight with this. It was nice, fun, peaceful flight. Um, hopefully the weather calms down here. It was been like 40 mile an hour winds the past couple days. Uh, so I'll wait for a nice calm day and we'll go out and take some flight footage. And through the magic of video editing, you're about to see that right now. All right, this is the flight review of the Air Hogs Firewing. I'm going to go ahead and start it with the tail up and do a nice slow fight flight and see how that goes. A little bit of a breeze out today, so we'll see how it does with the wind. And i got to get a feel for the throttle at first to find out where it likes to keep its height. But as you can see, it's really nice, slow flying, really easy to control. Oop, not enough throttle. Alright, now let's put the tail down and go full speed. Kind of got to give it a toss upwards as you let it go. But that's, that's full speed there, so it gets a little bit faster if you want it to. It looks so much like a real bird, it's so cool. The uh, wild cats that are hang out around here like to come out and check it out sometimes see if they show up. Whoa, right over the camera. Oh, in a tree and crash. <laughs> Almost hit myself in the face. All right, let's put the tail up one notch, one notch down from the slowest. See how that flies. That's a pretty nice speed. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's such a cool looking I don't know, RC air vehicle. I don't know what you want to call it. It's just an ornithopter. Not a plane, not a helicopter. It's a flying bird. Really cool. Just a really relaxing flight. Even handling the wind pretty well. I okay, got into some wind current there. But anyway, I think that's a good test flight. So we'll go ahead and call it a wrap there. No damage done from the little crash. All right, well, that's the uh, Air Hogs Firewing Ornithopter Flying Bird. Very cool. I like it. It is fun to fly. All right, well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.